Hey guys, this is the Key Pounding Channel, and uh, today I want to talk about a few things. First off, I want to say I'm sorry for not putting up uh, more videos, but lately we have not had any content worth uh, making a video about, so that happens around this time of year. You know, uh, so we're getting about two weeks away from printing camp in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and that's the first thing I want to discuss. You know, um, because there's been some a few questions about uh, Tepper upgrading the training camp, and there were some people wondering if he was going to keep it in Spartanburg, including myself. So I hope so. I really do hope so. And my interpretation of what he said, you know, opening statements, as a uh, Panthers owner is that he plans to include both states. Both states. So my interpretation would be that he is state, he's keeping it in Spartanburg, South Carolina, on the Wofford campus. But I do not know for sure. So, uh, there's a lot to get into there and a lot that I don't know about you know contractually um, because I would think if he wants to spend money on the Wofford campus that they will actually let him but uh, there's there's some degree of questions about that and I don't know enough to be able to tell you but I'm going to guess that he's going to keep it there because he is including both states. Um, so, and the third thing I want to mention is this amazing Julius Pepper shirt that I got for my birthday. Check this thing out. Y'all gonna love this. This thing is amazing. It's got uh, peppers on the back. And I'll show you in the next video what the back looks like. But, um, yeah, I just celebrated my birthday on the 7th, and, uh, we got camp coming up, and I'm excited. This is a busy time of year. Things are starting to ramp up. Um, but, uh, as far as this time of year, uh, I also want to mention... I got this beautiful ring in 2016 when we won the NFC Championship. I want to bring that to people's attention because it is possible for us to do it again. Y'all see this ring. Y'all see what it represents. Look at this trophy. That is sitting in our trophy case right now in Charlotte. This is real. Gettleman got us that trophy as the general manager, but the players earned it. You know, our record in our stadium. I just love this ring, guys. I love it. I love what it represents, and I love the motivation behind this ring. Let me flip this over so you can see it. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? And yeah, I talk Southern because I'm a Southerner. I'm from I'm from South Carolina. But check this ring out. That's gorgeous, right? Don't y'all want another one? I know y'all want another one. I sit there and look at that ring every single day when I get up, man. And I'm reminded of what it takes to get that ring. And that's what it takes in real life, too. You know, in business, in marketing, in sales, whatever you do. Push yourself. Those trophies, those plaques, they're real. That employee of the month, that's real. I just wanted to talk for real, you know. Because 
You know, you're not going to get anywhere unless you take chances. And Marty Hunley, Marty Hunley, my mistake, Marty Hunley took chances this offseason, and they paid off. We're looking at a possible 10-win season. That's just right out of the gate. This team is possible of anything this year. Anything. I want to take a look at the players in training camp to be sure that that 10-win season is still possible. But uh, right now, things are looking on the up and up for this team. Uh... I don't know how many of y'all are Cubs fans, but I managed to get this World Series pennant right from Wrigley Field in Chicago. This is a part of history, baseball history. So, you know, if you're not into baseball, I apologize if you're not a fan, you know. No, it's not for everybody, you know. And... For some people, neither is football. But, you know, we love it. We enjoy it. And it's our sport, you know. And I'm hoping to have a wall full of championship pennants. And I want the Panthers Super Bowl pennant to be up on that wall as well. Hopefully it will be. Time will tell. Time will tell, gentlemen and ladies. And whatever you are. You know. Yeah, because we we keep pushing ourselves, you know, as a franchise. We keep pushing the boundaries of what we can do and what we think we can do. And that's what makes us successful and great. And I want to see that happen this year. We got a lot of teams on this schedule this year. That are hungry, God, people. We, Panther Nation, I, you know, we've got at least six teams, at least six, that are sitting right in the middle of the league and on the verge of playoffs again. We cannot get lazy this year. We've got to keep our foot on the pedal and keep playing like we know we can play. You know, this is not a time for us to sit back and say, oh, well, this game is easy street, you know. It's not. It's not at all. You look at it, we got, you know, we're probably going to split with the Falcons and Saints this year. So I'm just giving that as a given. We got Pittsburgh, that could be a loss. We got Dallas, that could be a loss. We've got the Giants that could be a loss. You never know if the Eagles might pull something out of the hat. You've got the Ravens, who are extremely dangerous during playoff time. Or uh, wild card chase time. And then, let's not even talk about the fact that we went double overtime with the Bengals the last time we played them and tied them. Right before our Super Bowl year. I mean that. That was. Crazy. I remember exactly where I was. When I was listening to that podcast man. I was listening to that radio. Station. Broadcasting that. That specific game. I just about went. Eight. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you. We, we had multiple chances to win that game. And we didn't do it. But uh, we kept clawing back. And that's exactly what this team does. We keep clawing back. They don't call us the Cardiac Cats for nothing. And I love, 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 love that nickname. Because that's exactly what our team represents. But, uh... Hopefully this this year will bring good things. Um, I'm excited, you know, 
I know you y'all are too, and we'll just see what happens. Um, another year, another chapter under Te Tepper and the Panthers, and under our franchise name. Let's keep pushing boundaries. Let's keep pounding. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can see all the videos that I put up. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Keep pounding.